Baxters. Today I'm excited to introduce this indoor light energy harvesting evaluation kit. It is, as you might have guessed, a solar energy kit, which is always exciting to me as someone who's a huge fan of sustainable electronics. It comes with one year of free access as a premium user to Epishine's knowledge base, which we'll take a look at in a second. And here's the star of the show. They actually sent me three of these. And I didn't realize that they're flexible. This is so cool. Oh, let's get this open. Whoa! So this is a flexy little solar panel that you can stick inside your home. You can attach a separate external battery, but also it's got this super capacitor built in and it has some smart energy management features as well. According to Epishine, the light energy harvesting modules are designed to be used with low power products like Bluetooth temperature sensors and similar. Do not use with higher power products like Wi-Fi units, large displays, etc. Typical products are those that have average power consumption of a few tens of microwatts, typically running years on CR2032 or similar. The EVK can supply continuous 300 milliamps from the super cap, but then will not last very long. They suggest setting an output voltage, then connecting typical products and monitoring the supercapacitor voltage in different light conditions. Let's take a look at the product page. So here's the main Epishine page with the indoor light energy harvesting module itself and the evaluation kit, which includes that module. As mentioned, the eval kit can power most low power radios such as BLE, Zigbee, LoRa, and similar. It is thin and flexible to showcase the unique product integration and design possibilities of Epishine light energy harvesting modules. You can find these on Newark right now for $167. They also sent me an example of a company using Epishine technology right now. Pollock's original innovations have this sensor called Hadar that is powered by solar energy harvesting to monitor temperature, humidity, air pressure, and indoor air quality. Lots of cool features there. In the knowledge base, you can find documentation on all the different eval kits and modules, some reference designs, plus white papers and application notes. Discrete solution for a secondary battery, discrete solution with a supercapacitor and primary battery, etc. They actually sent me three of these, so thank you very much to Epishine. What a cool and flexible little eval kit. Personally, I think it'd be interesting to build some super low power circuits with AT Tiny chips and see how that goes. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with those and you can load Arduino code onto them as well. Hack on.